to set up github actions so that your r script can run automatically so if you do not know about github actions github actions is a feature from github uh, and it is also available for free uh, repositories like public repositories it's very much like uh, you know what you used to do with uh, travis ci or circle ci where you can set up automated testing or um, you can do a lot of things like based on a pull request or push or uh, when an issue is raised you can you know run a set of script or a single script but what it also gives you is that it gives you a bunch of machines where you can run a script and uh, the good thing about github action is if you want to schedule any automated script it also supports cron jobs which means we can set up a schedule an r script to run at a particular time in a day or a, at a scheduled interval like a minute or something so this video is going to be about how to do um, a scheduled job of a web scraping in r uh, using github actions so the um, video this video is actually inspired by this article uh, so uh, i've not used the code here exactly but uh, the yaml file that i'm going to show you so those content um, are uh, coming from this article so i'll link this article also in the description so thanks to the author who put together this uh, mat for writing this article and then that uh, that has served as an inspiration for me so let us go ahead and then see how to do that so what we what, what we are going to do that uh, right now is we're going to have a repository like this and then this is a scraping code the stock market scrape scraping code that i explained in the previous video so you can refer that video about like how do we do this stock stock market scraping it's basically taking data from indian stock market website so what we are going to do now is we are going to set up an automated script that will run automatically uh, and it will scrape data from this website it will clean all those things and then it will put the csv file ultimately here so what we are going to do is have a script that gets run um, every day at a scheduled interval uh, but right now because of the sake of video we'll manually trigger it once we do that then we are going to take that um, we are going to schedule it using a cron job so a couple of things that we need for that uh, the first thing is you need to have a github account so if you do not have a github account please sign up for a github account after you sign up for a github account we are going to create a new repository so after you create your github account and when you open it you would see something like this and all you have to do is click new repository create it so what i'm going to say is um, something sample name okay scrape automation okay so this is my repository name for ease uh, okay so the other thing is uh, everything that i'm going to do now i'm going to show it on uh, github web but a lot of these things you can actually do it within your r studio like putting your code creating subfolders all these things and then you can finally uh, um, you know push it to your git but uh, this is like because i want somebody who doesn't have access to any other machine or have not configured git to do this i'm going to show it only on web so that's uh, that's a caveat that you need to keep so add readme so click the repository name you can add uh, scrape uh, nifty 50 data and store the csv using github actions yep and uh, your main branch name is main uh, that's that's the thing to remember so once once this is done the next step that we want to do is we want to upload our code and uh, like i said please refer to the previous uh, video for uh, the scraping code for you to understand this all i'm going to do is copy the code from this and then paste it so there is only one nuance uh, that i would like to add here so i'm going to say add file create new file keep the code save the code i'm going to call it sorry i'm going to call it nifty 50 scraping in r okay dot r so once i do that you can probably see that uh, preview it uh, you can see that so the biggest thing that you need to keep in mind is uh, the right csv part so in right csv what i've done here is i've actually added a folder path so the folder is not uh, it doesn't exist right now but i've added a folder path and then also because i want this to run every day i'm uh, i'm giving a dynamic file name if i give the same name file name the file would get overwritten right so i don't want that to happen so i want this file to incrementally collect data sorry um, this uh, repository to incrementally collect data so what i've done here is i've actually uh, given all these things and uh, and uh, it actually uh, saves the data so it collects the data uh, and then puts it inside data so now the script is ready just 
to very quickly give you the overview of the script. So we are loading three libraries, Tidyverse, Arvest, Janitor, and then we have a URL from the URL. We're extracting HTML. We're cleaning up, we're extracting the table from the HTML. We're cleaning up a bunch of things. And then finally, we're writing the CSV. So instead of writing CSV, you can also store the ggplot um, using ggsave, but I'm not doing that. I'm just going to stop it at write.csv. Maybe I can even comment these quotes. Like I don't need these quotes. I might take some bit of CPU. Okay. Okay, I can just remove the code. Yeah, done. So let me add some emoji oh, oh. committed. So at this point, our file gets committed. So once our file gets committed, the next step is we need to create the data folder which doesn't exist. So again, this is kind of a hack. The simplest way you can create a data folder is go to add file, create new file, and then say data slash, and then inside this, just add some um, test.txt, a CSV, whatever, doesn't matter actually. So commit this file. Once you commit this file, now the next step is you have to, you have to, okay. So now that we have these things, so now the next step is for us to set up our workflow, the GitHub Actions workflow. There are a couple of ways you can do GitHub Actions workflow. You can go to Actions, click Set Up Work Yourself. So it is suggesting you an R workflow that is already available in the in the marketplace um, for you to do it. But this is primarily aimed at package users or package developers who want to test their packages. But right now we are not doing that. We want to set up a cron job. Cron job is like a scheduled job that gets run. Um, at a given time period. So set up a work, uh, workflow yourself. You can do this. You can come here and then paste your YAML file. So you can, like this is the easiest way for you to do it. So you've got a YAML file uh, here. The YAML file, you know, has got uh, details. Um, but what we are going to do is, instead of this YAML file, we are going to use our own YAML file, uh, which is what I've uh, inherited from the blog post that I told. But you also can refer to other R uh, related GitHub actions for it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go inside my GitHub workflows, select my YAML file. I have got two YAML files. So I'll just pick the second YAML file. And uh, first I'll show you what is this YAML file mean. And then we'll also add the other YAML file. So copy this YAML file, select everything, delete it, paste it. Once you paste it, you can actually see what is in there. So let me quickly explain you what is in there. So first, first thing, uh, first thing is, let me go up. Very strange, it's not going up. Okay, let me click preview. Okay, so what you can see is first thing is, what is the name of the action? So in this case, I'm calling my action nifty 50 scrape. And then the next thing is, when do you want this action to run? So like I was telling you at the start of the video that we want it to be um, running at a particular schedule. That, that's what I call it a crone job. But uh, because I want to show you like it actually works, I'm uh, starting with um, push, which means whenever there is a change in this repository, whenever there is a push, then this uh, uh, workflow would start uh, running. So uh, we are going to change this and then we are going to make it a Corona job. But to start with, we are doing this. So the next thing is uh, on which machine you want this to run. Uh, I want this machine to uh, like this code to run on a Mac OS latest. And then the most important thing that you need to keep in mind is the machine that has been provided to you by GitHub um, for GitHub Actions uh, does not come with R. So that machine doesn't have R. So you, we need to actually install R and that's what we're doing here. So we, we are actually using R libs action. Uh, so thanks, thanks to them for setting up this workflow for us. So we're using that to install R. And once we install R, we don't have, a, we need to install the packages that we are using in this particular script, which is what we saw tidyverse janitor and rvest. So now we are installing tidyverse janitor rvest. And this is basically how you would install on a remote um, Linux machine or uh, any any shell. Like if you have got a shell, like this is basically you would install if you are not using R Studio. So the command doesn't change much. So the next thing is we want to run a script and the name of the script I'm calling it scrape. And then what do you want to run? Uh, you want to run nifty 50 scrape, but that's not the name that we have given here. So let's go back and then see the name that we have given here. It's called nifty 50 underscore scraping. So let me change it to, okay, I'm in preview mode. That's why nifty 50 scraping. Yeah. 
once i do this thing now uh, my uh, r script is a command to invoke this and once that is done uh, then the next thing that we have to do is set up our um, authentication so github for it to write um, write the file uh, in your repository and for it to run this action uh, you need to authenticate so the the simplest way to authenticate is so you you need to use environments or like secrets that is available in the repository setting but what you don't have to actually do is you don't have to generate a github token or anything so whenever you try to create a github action by default github installs this uh, github user um, uh, you know the username action user app the current repository and also it uh, generates a secret uh, token and that is already available uh, for you in this particular um, environment variable so you don't have to basically do anything like you don't have to manually go to settings and uh, add it you don't have to do any of those things all you have to do is you have to go here and then um, give the token like this is basically you have to do you don't have to do anything else and uh, the username is um, the action user and uh, the, this is the uh, email because like this is like the first time you're setting up git uh, on this particular machine the machine that in which the code is going to run and then the next thing is um, while i was trying this i was getting an error uh, where our, it almost felt like uh, the machine almost felt like we are trying to you know uh, push without any commit so i'm just saying uh, take everything from data and then you know add it to commit so they add a uh, data star so if again if you're familiar with git you would probably know that first you would add everything then you would commit with a commit message and then you would push it so again please uh, please um, note uh, if you are using some other code that is already available the past uh, at the time the main branch was called master so you would have probably called uh, git push origin master but uh, like if you're creating a latest repository we probably call main so you need to call it main so this is your um, key and then this is your username and at this point you are good to go so what we are going to do is we are going to say start committing so everything is fine so you saying start committing and commit okay once we commit the new file uh let's go to the scrape automation like right now you cannot see anything like uh, but what you would actually see is you would see that there is a small uh, yellow color or orange color dot which uh, would take you if you click to the commit message but if you actually click this it would take you to the github uh, actions let's go to the action and then you can see um, you can see that there is a create main yaml file that is getting run and when you click this and you can see it's in progress and you click this and when you click this further what you would probably see is uh, the steps that we were uh, trying to do first it's setting up a job then it is uh, installing actions and then it's installing r then the next step is it would start installing the packages and the next step is it's going to start scraping the content cleaning the content and then writing the csv file so you can see what's happening actually in uh, real time so it's basically installing tidyverse um r waste and janitor um so you can see that it's getting installed so the next step for us is uh, like while it is getting installed let's go to the other yaml file that i've got here which is for the chrome job so the other yaml file that i've got here uh, it doesn't change everything it changes only one thing it says on schedule so there we saw on push so here we are seeing it on schedule which means we want to set up a cron job which executes at a regular interval on schedule and this is the cron logic if you do not have any idea about what this cron logic is there is a very nice website called cron tab dot guru so you can go there and try to understand what this cron logic means like what what a star like you can play around with it and try to understand and github itself will also give you a notification so let's go see what has happened with um, a script okay looks like everything has successfully run even the commit has successfully happened you can see that uh, the message is successfully happened so that, that that sounds good so let's quickly go okay let's um, let's quickly click actions probably one more thing that i wanted to actually say is um we can we can copy okay, we can. let me see if i can get it for you otherwise we'll just keep that part 
uh, there is a place where you can get the badge um, and you can add it to your disc de description so having the yeah create status badge so if having a status badge can help you um, understand if your workflow is running properly i just copied the badge go back uh, and then add it to my description the uh, read me the problem is again it's going to trigger uh, it's going to trigger you can see that, that there's a new uh, commit message so let me go and then add the commit which would trigger the github actions uh, and the good thing is you can if like if you don't want uh, any you know github action to run uh, when you don't want it you can just go and cancel it like for example now you can see the, the orange dot again so i can just go to the actions i can say like no don't don't run it just cancel it yeah so probably you know like if it is not required you don't have to necessarily do it like of course you can save some computation power um you can see that the yaml file that you had created is uh, is uh, the part of the hidden folder dot github and uh, the data that we just tried to scrape let's see uh 2021-3 and uh you can actually see that uh the top gainers successfully here so basically our script ran the scraping script it took the top uh, gainers of the stock market from nifty 50 and then it added the csv file to the current workflow so the only thing that is pending and what we try to do is instead of um, instead of a push job uh, like when instead of a trigger based like push based script we want it to the action to run when there is a like a based on crone like a schedule so let me quickly show you crone tab dot guru and go back here sorry here and then edit the yaml file edit it and uh, add it okay what did i just do yeah you can and when you hover your mouse on it it actually shows that it runs at every uh, day utc um, like f f 17 if you want it to change you can do like this or if you want it to further change like you can ch say okay it runs every hour um you, you can play around with it like you can say uh, like this now it runs every minute um like you can play around with it like you can change whatever you want let me just put um, um 13 utc okay that, that sounds okay to me and then i can just commit it like i don't have to make any change for cron job like a scheduled cron job all i need to do is uh, schedule cron and then it's done so start committing uh, again uh, the point that i would like to make here is this you may not be able to see when this executes but when this executes every day you will uh, you'll probably see a new file popping up here so it's going to run every day at um, 17 or 13 whatever we just added uh, the the time so if you have any doubt related to cron jobs like you can just go here cron tab dot guru you can say okay like what does it mean it means like at 17 every day uh, or if you want like this um what does it mean so you can see okay at one uh, every day like what does it mean at one minute every one minute so you can understand like chrome dot chrome guru is a good website for you to understand how the logic works so you you don't have to like memorize it you can just copy paste it from there and uh, also that um, uh, we have successfully made a scraping automation using r and that is automatically scheduled on uh, github using github actions everything is completely free uh, please do not misuse computation resources that github offers you again um, like we should always uh, be thankful for what we have got and uh, thanks to github for providing us github action and also check out this repository which i'll link in the description where you can copy my yaml file and also you can copy my code to practice it yourself if you're going to set up such a workflow if you if you, if you want um, you know like uh, any help please let me know in the comment section otherwise i would be really really um, curious to know what what, what automation you are setting up uh, using uh, github actions so please let me know and thanks so much for watching this video if you like this please give a thumbs up and share it with your friends and subscribe uh, thank you so much for watching stay safe